Now let's talk about section type and section data definition in ANSYS APDL. Some, some element types require section types and section data defined for them. For example, beam elements need cross-section areas, shell elements need thickness and material model, link or trusses require the cross-section definition, pipe elements require interior and exterior radii, so on and so forth. To define a section type under preprocessor, you can click on sections and uh, you can pick some of the um, predefined element or section data or section types defined for you. And from there, you can input the values for each section type. Here I've shown five of the common beam cross sections like rectangular, quadrilateral, uh, eye shape, and uh, solid, circular solid. So the information about each section type and section data again is given in um, the help documentation of ANSYS APDL. It's a vast number of section types that you could pick for your analysis depending on uh, your simulation and element types. Here I'm showing a line that is used for a beam analysis. So you draw a line for beam analysis, but be because I have defined an I-beam for my beam as the cross-section of the beam, ANSYS sees the beam or this line as this I-shape and after applying boundary conditions and loads, this is what ANSYS will use to solve the beam problem. 